Hi guys, Ruben here uh, with the tip of the day. <laughs> um, would you finish with any of your colors, either it's the decor media of Americana or decor tradition, don't throw the bottle away because you can use this bottle to create your new color, your custom color. Colors that it doesn't come made already, but you use, you encounter yourself using them a lot. Like you can tell I have this pale pink. I don't want to be mixing all the time that I'm painting. If it's a color that I encounter myself mixing a lot, I like to have a, a pre-mix already in a container. You can tell I have this pink, I have this blue. This is a, a beautiful painting I made. And then I mix a specific color for the sky. So um, you can label it any way you want it. I just put a piece of paper and label it a sky. Or you can put a little color on the top. But in this case, it was for a specific painting. So I needed to know which one I use. Uh, this is an off-white. You can write right in the cap. But I like to make it like a sampler. So you can find it quick. Anyway, this is the best way that I do it, to do it quickly and really, really nice. Um, those um, always buy extra of the translucent white and the titanium white because you're going to be using them a lot. Um, when I'm almost done, they have all, like one third left. Uh, that's the perfect time to use it to mix a new color. This is a titanium white. So all I do is I rip the, uh, I take the label off so I can put the new label. And then uh, of course I experiment a little to see what color I want to mix or I can consult any of my chart to see if it's the color that's there. So I have an idea what color I need to use to mix that color. In this case, um, I'm gonna. I want to make a few marinas painting, and I need a um, kind of a sea foam color, but more in the blue side. So I selected this two color, the coval turquoise hue, and the yellow handsome medium, and of course my white. So I'm gonna mix it right into the bottle. So since I want the color blue to be more dominant than the yellow, I'm gonna put that one first. Shake your bottle, always shake your bottle first. And that works for any of your paint, Americana, tradition, outdoor, chalky finish, it works for everything. And I'm gonna start slow. I'm gonna put maybe like five drops of the blue the cobalt turquoise and since I don't want it to be too yellowish I'm gonna put only one drop of the yellow uh, the thing is when you shake it it would take a million years to really create that color all mixed together you see you still see the Y and when you use it, it doesn't. It would take you a long time to mix. So this is my secret to mix it really quickly. You can find this uh, marble in the 99 cent store, a little package. And then I use them all the time to mix my color. It makes it to mix quickly. I just drop one marble in it. It works really good too for the chalky finish just to make it more fluid, like uh, uh, especially when I mix two color of the chalky finish and I shake it really, really good with the marble, it helps it to mix faster than really thoroughly, like really good. So, I put the marble. The marble didn't win down. Okay. This little bottle, a little more, but it's down. The other bottle, the Americana, and the other bigger bottles is easier, but uh, I make a fit in here. Anyway, can you hear the ball? That would really give me a good, good mix. So I'd be able to use the color in no time and a more consistent color. It's getting there. 
I see that probably we need a little more of the cobalt blue, the cobalt turquoise. Oops. Okay. One more drop of this. So you build it up slowly until you get to the shade that you want. And if it becomes slightly too dark, just put back, put back a little bit more of white. I get this white for a lot of them because I I, I often mix pre-mix color to use, it, including flesh color if I'm doing portrait. I like to mix different shade of colors. It makes your life a lot easier. Make sure you shake it well. You will never be able to do it without the little ball inside. And now you have a nice pastel color. Let's see. Let's see if I'm... So, this is a very pastel color. Yeah, it's nice, it's still too pastel. I still like to go a little bit at the time. It's easier to apply, to add a little more of the dark color than to soften it. So I put a quite a bit in there this time. And another drop of the yellow, because I don't want it too much in the yellow side, more in the blue side, but I still want that sea foam green. And this three color make the most beautiful sea foam. That's why it's so important to make this short so you have an idea what color are best to mix your color. You can tell you can see the color through it. You see the color? Without the ball, it's very, very difficult to do that. So I don't want a very strong color, I just want like a soft color. Oh, perfect. Look what a beautiful sea foam green. Love it. So I have my sea foam green mix. And now you know how I mix all my color so I can work quickly. Especially the color that you use the most. I hope this tip can help you a lot. So until next time, until the next project, make sure you like it and share it. And you subscribe so you can get more tips. I'll be doing videos every week. Hopefully hundreds of them. <laughs> Hopefully you don't get tired of me. So have a nice day. Bye.